What's up, everybody? This is Fred Ricciani of TSC News here to recap Game 7 of the Western Conference quarterfinals. The Los Angeles Clippers have fallen to the young, the hungry, the savvy Utah Jazz in Game 7. It is officially an end of an era in Los Angeles, at least in Clippers land. Chris Paul, what's his future? Blake Griffin, what's his future? Doc Rivers, what's his future? And of course, the legend, the future Hall of Famer, Paul Pierce, the former NBA champion, former finals MVP. The truth, what is his future? Unfortunately, this game ended 104-91 for the Utah Jazz. Well, unfortunately for the Clippers, I'm sure a lot of Jazz fans are happy. The story of this game, whew, Gordon Hayward, 26 points, doing his thing. Derek Favors stepping up big when Gobert was in some foul trouble very early on in the game. A lot of people used to label Favors a bust. Well, the dude had 17 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, and the biggest game of his career. Joe Jesus Johnson had 10 points and 7 rebounds off the bench. Man, oh man. Meanwhile, the Clippers... They got 24 points, 17 rebounds from DeAndre Jordan. They had just 13 points and 9 assists from Chris Paul. This game was pretty damn ugly for the Clippers. And the fourth quarter was really the Jamal Crawford show with uh, 20 points. But a disappointing end for the Clippers. This is a Clippers team that, unfortunately, might have been in the right place, but just the wrong time. You got the Warriors. You got the Spurs. You got so many damn good teams in the West. And Chris Paul is definitely a Hall of Fame talent. The jury is still out on Blake Griffin. He's still a young guy. Hopefully he can actually stay healthy and continue to have a productive career. But yeah, this Clippers franchise, they could go downhill or they could go up. We shall see. I'll tell you this. If they don't have either Blake or Chris Paul next season, they got their hands full. But meanwhile, the Jazz go on to face the former NBA champion Golden State Warriors. And the Jazz are absolutely, positively, definitely going to have their hands full with Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, Kevin Durant, the presumed favorite in the Western Conference. Personally, I think the only team that can really give the Warriors a run for their money is the Spurs. But... What do I know? We just saw a young Jazz team that's been banged up, that was called inexperienced, step up to the plate and win in Game 7 on the road. Maybe, just maybe, they will shock the world again. I hope at the very least they will give this team a series. But, folks, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this series? What do you think about the Celtics winning Game 1 over the Wizards, the tremendous performances by Isaiah Thomas and the rest of the team? What do you think about the landscape of the East and the West? Let me know. Leave a comment below, tweet us, Facebook us, do what you got to do. If you enjoyed this update, please like, share, take care, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates throughout the playoffs.